Generic greetings and welcome back once again to another chill session on Power Wash Simulator. Today's beverage is... A very chilled beverage indeed. That is a very nice uh, dandelion and burdock with added ice. Very chill indeed. So welcome back to the game. In the previous episode we were using water to clean a vessel that is highly accustomed to that substance. So yeah, we've got this boat which is normally in the water, currently out the water, being sprayed by water to be cleaned because of all of the dirt that's being caused because of water. So we're going to crack on with all of that cleaning and we've got this deck wall to clean. I'm guessing it goes up to that bit there. I'm going to switch over to the 15 degree nozzle for this job because quite frankly with the angles that we're working with, with the uh, with the uh, gunnels up here, oh yeah it is actually, it does say that. Uh, yeah, so we need to obviously get this clean. In fact, what I might do is I might stay on top here and clean all of this because we will get some very nice overspray, which should hopefully help in the upcoming cleaning. Currently on 51% clean. I would... I mean, I'm not really too bothered exactly how long it takes to to get this clean, but if we get this done, it would be uh, quite a nice little little bonus there. But we'll see how we, how we get on. So cleaning around this here and just working along around the back obviously this is highly inappropriate to do in real life standing on a recently cleaned <laughs> um, and indeed very slippery and wet rail while suspended above a very large drop with many objects to hit on the way down and then land on a solid concrete surface if it goes wrong with obviously no uh, protective uh, or safety gear to uh, speak of so yeah this is something that's probably breaking a lot of rules but then again in a previous episode we cleaned a five <coughs> fingered and one uh, <laughs> one thumb ancient alien statue thing so I mean we probably can not bother about um, certain rules and regulations for safety on this one. Let's get that clean as well working around. These bits here these dividers are well, exactly what they say. They are a divider, which means that we don't have to clean the whole thing in one go. We can just clean bits of it and then get that nice, satisfying ting noise, hopefully. So far, it's been an interesting one, this. I've uh, quite enjoyed it. There's been some question over whether or not it's going to continue to be okay because of the... Well, this bit basically being so far up in the air and where we're going to have to clean this from but we'll see how we get on as always just gonna go prone just to clean under there just because we can um, and then just spray along that side and along that side jump over we will do a, a standing clean as it were just to get that side done Ooh, almost went over the edge don't want to be doing that and there's that done and then back to cleaning here as well realistically probably should have done this before we did the flooring because this would have given a tiny bit of overspray. If so if we're completely worrying about efficiency, that would have been the the way to do it. But uh, well, we're not too bothered. There's limitations, obviously. So there we go. And across there, that's fine. Just going to spin around the other side just to get that cleaned. Naturally, we won't have a lot of this done because yeah, it has to go all on that side as well. So there's a lot to clean. So we're just doing the top. So we're focusing on the inside of the boat here. That was the main takeaway. So that's what we'll do. The dirt there that I missed. Just press tab to indicate where the dirt is. Seems to be okay. And then we'll spin round. Get that done. A little bit of spraying along here. And I think that's all right. Okay, so we've got that done. Let's just go back to what we were actually clearing. We've got a mooring hole here, so we can spray from both sides, go prone as well. Oh, that's actually done. I didn't expect to do that. I, I honestly thought that's something we wouldn't get done because we'd have to spray from the outside, but there might obviously be enough leeway in that to get it sorted, which is fine. Gonna just spray this this side as well. Press tab and then just go prone maybe. Just trying to see. So we've missed. Looks like it was there. 
then I may work from here as well. That's okay. Spraying the top bit and around. And oh, just looking at the money, we are doing very well. Two thousand four hundred and twenty point three six generic units of currency. The main takeaway being that we're very close to affording the triple spray, <laughs> which I'm very much looking forward to trying. I want to see what that's like. Is that done as well? And that. And this divider here, I'm going to assume that there's a bit on the other side. There is a little bit on the other side, I think. I bet we have to jump down. Yep, that's exactly what we needed to do. Okay, that's fine. Just a test. Back to spring here. Underneath the boat is the one that I'm worried is not the right choice of words, but it's the one that's coming to mind on any other bit on this boat because it's going to be a lot of looking up which never enjoyed in the game might be better using the other control method instead of the FPS one which if we do struggle we may go ahead and use that actually yeah we might give that a go oh that got done actually pretty good what's up with the dirt there oh yeah this main deck isn't done wow I actually thought we got that done. But apparently not. There's little bits that I've missed. There we go. And, oh! I think... Do we? Do we? Oh, we actually have more money. It's 2,400. <laughs> we have 2,511. We now own... The... Prime Vista Pro... Triple Nozzle. Okay. Interesting. It's. It's. Uh, it, it's. It's not as good as, as, as that one. Uh, it's. It's. Yeah, it's this one. And you can tell by the colour scheme. That it's. Yeah. It's the standard nozzle. But triple. Um, so is it better than the other ones? Maybe you just need a bit of time. Or maybe I just need a bit of time with it. Let's see how we can use it. Go underneath there. If you just use it slowly, like that, it seems to pick up other bits. And obviously the range is brilliant on it. Absolutely brilliant. And this is using the long extension, not the extra long. Oh yeah. I'm starting to see what advantages it gives us. Uh, we just need to do this thing. Yes, yeah, so if you if you just if you're just quickly doing this, it's gonna it's gonna do that. It's gonna miss this little bit. You have to give it maybe I don't know, about half a second to sort of catch up. Maybe. Uh, did this get cleaned? It did. Did this get cleaned? It hasn't. It has now been cleaned. And I'm well aware that there's gonna be trims and stuff that I've missed. That's all right. The main stuff is getting done. So yeah, see that I went really quickly. Actually, the distance is a problem. I'm gonna have to go for a shorter extension. Even even then, at this distance, it's it's yeah, it's not able to work as I want. So my question is. Is this any better than using, say, the long extension 
15 degree. It's powerful. But I think I prefer this. It will have its uses, I'm sure. What those are. <laughs> I'm not currently privy to. Getting behind that is going to be a pain. Apparently it's not. Get it done. So, there's loads of bits that are missing there. Let's switch over to this thing then. And see if using that is better. It's still missing sections. But, I mean, we could go that way and then go that way. Jerry Jambalai. You see in this deep ocean spread of a gravity wave directly proportional to the square root of its wavelength. Thanks, Jerry. <laughs> is that all one bit? However, nonlinear effects can also cause the energy of smaller waves to bounce and consolidate into one huge wave. Thanks, Jerry. That's the keel there. It does a good job at longer range. It really does. I don't know the whole thing beats me. <laughs> yeah, the longer range the better for this thing, I think. Wow. Yep, yeah, it's it's just I guess the main takeaway is that it is just the standard zero degree nozzle. But you've got three of them. <laughs> so if you treat it like that, you probably have a good time with it. I'm certainly getting away with it now that we've using it like this. Get more range. Just what we need is this. We need a triple with the spiralizer on it. <laughs> yeah, that would be um, that would be brilliant, wouldn't it? That'll clean this thing up in no time. Oh, 63% cleaned. Obviously a lot of this is to do. And how much can I get this side at this range? Tell you what, what I'll do is I'll do the keel. The keel is cleaned. I think that should help out. It'll give us a little thing to stride for. Stride for. Yeah. We'll do the rudder while we're on. So it is leaving some sections, but nothing that we can't fix. Uh, the rudder. Are we going to have to go up here? Yeah. We'll do the propeller while we're on. And go to this side. Underneath. And there's the rudder. Right, the keel. Oh, this is all keel. Okay. Wow. Okay. It really shows its strengths at range. It's getting all of that cleaned. Without any effort. We'd normally have to be right up here and worried about that. So I can just go right underneath now and spray it almost to the back of the boat. <laughs> wow. Is it worth the money? Hard to say. But realistically, once you've got once you've got to this point in the game, what else are you gonna spend it on? Would be my argument. And there you go. Wow. So, starboard hull, you've also got the trim. So I think those are different, are they? Let's have a look. So 
This is the pelican. So I'm going to clean from around the chain down here. Wow, the speed on this. And this is only for the pro, I believe. I think this, yeah, I think this may be only for the pro pressure washer. Um, have to see. Not that I'm going to, well, I mean, we could try, couldn't we? Yep, it's only for the pro. Makes sense, I guess. 73% cleaned. And increasing by the second, because it really doesn't take long with this thing. Uh, to be honest, it does remind me of when we first got the the original Pro, Prime Vista Pro pressure washer, where it was just night and day. It cut the job from not a huge amount of work, but certainly there was a lot of work in it. Cut it down from however long to not along at all is probably the best description. Yeah, you just have to accept that you're not going to get it on the first pass. Especially up close. In fact, I'm even going to switch to a stubby. Because the stubby then... Now I will get it on the first pass. Or well, not almost. But if you don't, it doesn't matter because you are coming back to... You are doing multiple swipes anyway. So I missed a bit there, but when we come back, it's going to pick it up, for the most part, anyway. Does that spray through the rope? I think I might. Doesn't matter if we miss little bits anyway, we can come back. And we can do it. This is the problem I mentioned about being... <clears throat> the angle that it is. Can we... Trying, but look, because look at that, that's amazing. So, we're spraying up there, and even though we're just using the no extension stubby standard uh, default option, because it's three of the zero degree washes, it's just getting the job done. <laughs> It just, it just cleans it. it. Just completely strips that. It's better to be to be a wider beam. I uh, just want to know what amazing smell was coming from. I won't forget for as long as I live. Oh, this is uh, Jerry Jambalaya with the when he's on about when he was heading somewhere on the boat. Uh, look at all these cats in the marina. I've caught a whiff too. Yeah, there's loads of loads of cats. You notice that when we first came here. It'll be something to do with the norms. The norms are always up to no good. So this is the starboard hull. Almost completed. And I've done it in a bit of a strange way. I'm aware. But we can come back and finish the bits off. This could be it's missing in places. Underneath here, for example, I'm gonna go for some kind of extension. Um just a bit concerned that we're not getting the the rails under here. Because it's doesn't necessarily bounce. So I am going to switch over to the 15 degree nozzle with a long extension. And I'm going to hit them both with that. We might have to go up top and spray it down over. That's 
starboard trim is not cleaned at all. <coughs> not cleaned at all. It's cleaned quite a bit actually, but what I mean is that there's chunks missing. And the trim, yeah, I think the trim's, it's just going to be up here, oh, oh, oh right, okay. <laughs> I think we've discovered where the problem lies. The trim up here. At least we can go along. I didn't see where we are now. And spray on the top of that trim. I'll do both trims. That's nice. Trim done. Just a bit more there. Sometimes we've got some some rust and such. So that trim's done. That trim is not done. Just need to figure out where that dirt is then. Some over there. Oh, that's done. Oh. So we've just got. Three things to do, essentially. Right, back over to the Prime Vista Pro. Stupidly powerful extension. <laughs> and... No, I think just run it with a stubby. Ah, oh, nah. Can't do it with a stubby. Not happening. I'm afraid it's not happening with the stubby. Pelican is coming up lovely. 85% and won't be too long before it's pretty much done. Now I know spraying like this is going to miss out a lot of the trims but I think it's worth it just to get a huge chunk of this cleaned because then you can just come back to it Lots of barnacles getting washed off here. I'm not seeing any anodes on the board. More holds for bilge or intakes of any kind. Good spring there, it works out well. But because of the angle, I know there's going to be loads of it missing. But, we're coming to that point in the game now where it might not matter. Can I get a bit closer and do it this way? Yeah, we can. Cuts through it. So upon review, is it worth the money? I still couldn't say, but I do think that it saves a lot of time. I mean, we're at a really oblique angle there, at a fairly decent distance with only the short extension to speak of, and we're still able to clean it in pretty much one spray, one go. Yeah. Let's go from there. And what I might do is go up top. Yeah, most likely go up top. And we'll spray downwards to these trims and see if we can clean the trims and with that we'll get a lot of overspray it's best we go from this side now yeah we'll get a lot of overspray and um, most likely 
and get the rest of it done. There's that bit done for the pull. There's that one done. So it's just the port hull and the trims. Well, we knew that around here we'd have some problems. So we'll spray around where the trims are. Like that. Keep working along. There's loads of bits that we've missed because of the ang we've only really attacked it from one angle. Is that done? So it's just the trim. Is it done? That trim's nowhere near done. That's strange. Because I pressed tab. Not seeing any of it, but it says it's got loads that's not done. So is it in here? Oh yeah, yeah, that's exactly where it is. Right, 15 degree nozzle, we'll do it from this side. Um, yeah, you can see that's a huge section. It's just needs to clean from the inside. Uh, you know what? Genuinely might run the spiralizer. Yeah, I'm gonna run the spiralizer. make light work of that, which it has. Um, it just says a fair lead now. Which are... Hmm. Is it this? Where is it? It's that. Ow. It's just that. I think. Ugh. Can't make that up. Right. Back up. I guess there'll just be one little bit. A certain angle that we haven't got. Is it that? No, see, it says it's done. Aha, uh -huh. I think I got it there. It's that. Uh, Harper Shaw, hello friend, can you come to mine and wash your recreational vehicle? Right, let's see what this is like. So, this is the boat. Cleaned from the top around, on the deck, then the inside, and then... Wow, yeah, that was quick. <laughs> so, she looks so good I don't know if I can bring myself to put her back in the water, although how else am I ever going to find the source of that incredible aroma? continue we now have clean the recreational vehicle in brackets again <laughs> um okay that's what we'll be doing in the next episode excellent so that one that we've just done uh thoughts yeah it's it's nice it's inoffensive is the best thing i can really say about it um it was quite okay to do a little bit of detail here and there nice flat surfaces don't like the looking up angle type thing um engine statue in the hand were quite interesting to do some of the vehicles are quite good. Washroom I enjoyed. Didn't really enjoy the sub wedge. It was just far too big. Temple, no treehouse. Ugh, shudder. Uh, yeah. Some of these ones have nightmares because we didn't have a cleaner at the time. Skate park's good. Yeah. There's been a lot of a lot of stuff we've cleaned. And this is just the campaign. Never mind the, the specials as well. Hmm. The Mars Rover's there. But I know we've cleaned the Mars Rover previously. So we may have to go back and do it again. 
Huh, strange. Either way, that's been a bit of Power Wash Simulator. Next time we will look at, once again, the career mode, recreational vehicle again. Feels like a bit of a cop-out, considering it's literally the same vehicle, but I'm guessing more harsh dirt. But we've got all of the... I think we've got all of the things that we can possibly buy, equipment-wise. Um, seems to be. Seems to be. Cleaner. I think buy loads of cleaner. So we own lots of cleaner now. Uh, we haven't got some of the gloves. Different stylings for gloves. And is there any... I wonder if there's any... Really funky suits. What about skins? Ooh, the Prime Vista Pro Gold. I like the wooden handle on it. <laughs> the flower pattern as well. That's nice, 500. Cool. Either way, we're leaving it there for now. It's been a bit of Power Wash Simulator. Hope you have enjoyed it. Hopefully it's been a show on fire. And next episode, we'll look at cleaning the recreational vehicle camper van again. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.